Hi, this is the Vintage Tractor Engineer. This clip shows how to bleed the air from the fuel system on a vintage tractor. It is taken from our MF35 Engine Rebuild DVD. While any air is present in the fuel, the injector pump will not work. Consequently, the engine will not start. We're ready now to bleed off the fuel system. First of all, if we open the bleed screw on the top of the filter, fuel will run down from the tank and under assistance from the lift pump we can circulate fuel and fill up the filter housing until the point where it runs out of this plug. There we are. We've got a nice clean steady flow of fuel. We can now refit the bum. There. The second stage in the bleeding process is to fill the injection pump with fuel. If you remember earlier, we had this plate off here, so we know that it's completely empty of fuel. So it might take just a little while to fill up. If we remove the screw from here, then we can pump the lift pump. It might take a few minutes, but eventually we'll get fuel flowing from there. We can then refit the screw. Now we've got fuel running clean with no air bubbles. We can pop the screw back in. Tighten it up. It's a good idea now to keep pumping the lift pump for about 30 seconds to a minute and it just helps circulate fuel through the leaking off system back up to the tank. That way we're ready now to slacken off the injector pipes, each one at the top, turn the engine until fuel comes out of those so we know that those are bled off, ready to try and start this engine. To bleed the injector pipes, we've taken each one off at its fitting with the injector. Now remember to make sure the stop's pushed in and the throttle is on full speed. We can then turn over the engine on the key until we get fuel coming out of here. Now you mustn't let it get near your fingers, it could be under extremely high pressure and it will enter your skin and poison your bloodstream if you let it in. So we keep well away from the fuel itself. We can see now we're getting fuel up through the pipes. We can stop and fit them back to the injectors now. Good luck from the Vintage Tractor Engineer. See you next time.